what I have this morning is cutting off um, sleeve, three quarter sleeve with puff. Now, the, the length of my three quarter sleeve is 13, but I'm going to reduce it by four. So, four minus or 13 minus four gives me um, nine. So, it means the length of the sleeve now first is going to be nine in length. Now, this is the fabric which I've cut out. Now, I'm going to measure the length. I mean, the width. I mean, the length. Yes, the length. The length, I have 11.5. Now, 9 plus 2 and half gives me 11.5. I added 2.5 extra because of the the seal allowance both up and the down here now i'm going to fold my fabric into two equal parts this way and i will fold it again to give me the two sleeve now measure four inches I mean the width, four inches for the width. I'm going to measure here four inches as well. Now I'm going to connect this line with this. Here I have. The connection this way okay now the round sleeve is 12 okay 12 plus one and half or one so I have like 13.5 um, so 13.5 divided by 2 which gives me almost 7 inches and look at the base the mouse leaf here i have 8.5 almost approximately 8.5 but i'm going to chalk out some inches from seven okay so what i have is almost seven inches not up to seven now here i'm going to connect this like this straight line don't give it a straight sorry a straight line or horizontal line this is horizontal i mean sorry this is diagonal diagonal line okay from this edge to this edge straight line now having got this what i'm going to do here i'm going to give it a curve a little curve to give me the shape of the hampo that so I'm going to connect this where I've chalk that's where I'm going to draw a line from this edge here I've done the connection so by the time I see I have something like this 
okay so i'm going to cut it out Trace the curve part. I will trace the curve part to cut tracing the curve place like this. trim out the curve aspect of this this place I'm going to launch to give me the center point like this now have a launch I'm going to turn it this way remember this is the center point and I'm going to a little bit Roll this in. And I'm going to cut out this place. So Now, the second part, I'm going to make the curve, curve, the curve um, fabric. We are going to attach it to the base here, the mouse sleeve. This is what I want to use for my puff. The puff, we are going to attach it to the base, the mouse sleeve. Now, this gives me, remember the length of what I'm looking for now is four inches or 3.5 but this gives me about six inches still okay by me now i'm going to begin the the pleating okay has to be very patient so that I will have a very neat work here now it has been as you can see I've pleat this side now after pleating this side I'm going to turn it to the other side remember this side goes like this the pleating goes face this pleatings face this side now the second pleating will have to face this side okay so so I'm going to use tracing it but it will now face this side instead of facing this side so we now seal so i will take pick this and make it okay
this is how the shape is going to this is how it's going to look like remember this one faces the pleating faces and uh, the pleatings face this place then this side face this place so i have something like this now i'm going to join it to the mouth sleeve of the sleeve i'm going to line the the sleeve this is my lining and this is the puff which i've done i'm going to attach it and i will see it from this edge to this edge Okay. this one with the lining what i'm going to do now is to place this is the the wrong part but i'm going to use the correct face and i will place the right face with the right face of this like this and i will seal See, I've finished the sewing. Now I'm going to turn it. Just little parts out of this one will be in here, so that by the time I see it, the lining will not be surfacing. So this is how it's going to be, and I'm going to seal this part round before I finally fix it. I'm going to see it round so let me see it round and i will show it to you like that see it round as you can see i see it round so that by the time i finally shape it i will have a very stable and neat work now remains the shaping Now I'm going to measure, you know, I folded it into two. So 12 divided by two will give me six. I'm going to chalk it six. Okay. Plus half for the seam allowance. Now here is going to be, remember this place is six. I'm going to add two, two extra. So 6 plus 2 giving me 8. So I'm going to check 8 plus 0.5 for same allowance. So I'm going to trace here. So, I have something like this. So, this is where I'm going to seal to this edge. Now, this place will be for my seal allowance. And if just because I've closed it here. Wonderful.